Okay, so this video is going to be about reductive amination. So a reductive amination is when you have a carbonyl group. So this carbonyl group can be an aldehyde or a ketone. So I'll draw it as a ketone for this explanation. And we have a nitrogen group coming in. That nitrogen can have R groups attached or it can just have hydrogens attached. So I'll just draw it as an NH3 that's going to be adding on to this carbonyl carbon. So our lone pair from our nitrogen attacks our delta positive carbon and then we have a opening of that um, double bond there to let that in. So when this opens up we can pick up a proton and when this adds um, in I've just drawn two arrows to indicate that we've had two proton transfers. So we've had a proton transferring to the oxygen and we've had a proton being removed from that hydrogen, rather than drawing out the whole mechanism. So the next one involves two more proton transfers. So I'll just do two little arrows again, and we're going to form our imine intermediate. So our imine intermediate, we also have water that's being formed. So if we want to drive our reaction towards forming the imine, we can remove some of that water out and it will force it all the way over to that imine. So that's the first step. So if you add your NH3 and your carbonyl functional group in a reaction together, you will form the imine. It usually takes about overnight to occur. Then the next day you come in and you add your reducing agent. So remember we could use sodium borohydride or we could use lithium aluminium hydride, okay? Or you could use the hydrogenation conditions. So hydrogen gas with a palladium catalyst. Any one of those, depending on your molecule and what other groups you've got in there that might be reduced, um, you would choose the one that's the most appropriate. And then you would have your reduced compound. Okay, so that goes back to an NH2 and we've got our other R group that goes down there. And then we need an extra bond off here, so we're going to have a hydrogen going there. Okay, so we've got our reduction reaction at the end, we've got our NH2 that's reduced because we're adding the hydrogens there, and we've got an extra bond going to that carbon which is a hydrogen. So that's your reductive amination reaction. Thank you.